Okay, class, yesterday we talked about comparing and ordering numbers to 10,000. So we're going to take that discussion a little bit further, and we're going to talk about numbers to 100,000. All right? Now keep in mind that a place value chart can help you understand large numbers. So let's look at this example here on page 56. New Mexico has an area of 121,593 square miles. Rhode Island has an area of 1,214 square miles. So now let's use a place value chart so we can get a better understanding of what's going on here. All right? Yes, ma'am. Good. So. We said that New Mexico had about an area of 121,593 square miles. So, class, if I wanted to create my um, place value chart, I'll just make a little column here between each digit, right? And then I just go and determine the place value for each one. So who wants to help me out with this? Who's going to help me out with this? Timothy, where are place values is three in? Ones. Good job. Who, get, who else can help me out? Atala, what about this nine? What's tens? Good job. Any more help? Amira, the five is in what place? Hundred. Good job. What's next, the shocking? Thousands. Thousands. Timothy. Yeah. What do we have next? What where's this two? What place? Ten thousands. And what do we have left? Um a tower. Five hundred thousand. Good job. Hundred thousands. Keyword. I said one hundred twenty one thousand five hundred ninety three. All right. So this gives us an example or an idea of how that number can be broken down. Now, keep in mind that the way we have this written one hundred twenty one thousand five hundred ninety three. This is called standard form. Is anyone familiar with that? Well, this is standard form. The way we write the numbers. That's the standard form. Now, if we wrote, if we wanted to write this out, this is how it would look in expanded form. We would have to write 100,000. Right? For this place. Plus 20,000. Plus 1,000. Plus 500. Plus 90 plus 3. This is what we call the expanded form. That's the expanded form. This is the expanded form. It's the exact same thing as this, 
but we just wrote it out in its entirety. All right. Any questions thus far? No, ma'am. Go ahead and write that down. Now, this is the area of what uh state? What did I say? Yes, no. No, the area of what state? What state was this? Were you listening? No. Um. Timothy. New Mexico. New Mexico. And so. Rhode Island has an area of 1,214. So if we have 1,214, let's make our place value chart. Let's make our place value chart. That 4 is where? 1's place. 4 is where? That 1 is where? Good job. That 2 is where? Hundreds place, and this one is where the ten. I mean thousands. Thousands. Thousands place. So if we wrote this one thousand two hundred and fourteen out in expanded form, it will look a little something like this. 1,000 plus 200 plus 10 plus 4. That's the expanded form for that number. Yes, write down everything. Yes. So basically, New Mexico is about 100 times larger than Rhode Island. That's a lot, right? Yes. All right. Any questions thus far? No, no, ma'am. I haven't. Let's go ahead and write this down so that we can move on. Have we at least written this down? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. You haven't written this part down? I already like another slide. You should have already written all of it down. She said, and. I'm going to go ahead and start erasing the top. What? Oh. All right. So If I wrote 5,736, what is the place value of this 7? What is the place value of this 7? Yes, Amir. The hundreds. Good job. Hundreds. What about the 6, Atala? The 1. Good job. And this 3, Timothy. Read that number. So why would the three be in a thousand if you just said five thousand? Ten. And the five is where it's shocking. It is in the thousand. 
thousands. Good job. It's in the thousands. Okay? Now, if we wanted to write that out in standard form, I mean expanded form, how will we write this? Who can help me out? We're going to start with the five. It's 5,000. So how are we going to write this? Expanded. The long form. How do we write that 5,000? A, uh, a, a towel. Okay. Put one size. Okay. And put three zeros. What do we put there first? Put a comma. Good job. And, and three zeros. zeros. That's 5,000 plus what? What about this 700, Timothy? We write the standard. Uh-huh. We write two zeros. Good job. And about this 30 right here. Um. Amira. You put three. Uh huh. Good job. And about this six, is shocking. Then you put Good job. Just the six. Good. You all have the hang of it. So this is how we write five thousand seven hundred and thirty-six in the standard form. I mean, expanded form. Mother, watch it. Okay. All right. So, any questions thus far? No, ma'am. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and work on some independent practice. I'll come around the room and answer any questions that you all may have. All right? Yes, ma'am. Okay.